Okay, using a clarinet reed, same process as I would use an alto or any other saxophone reed. Um, starting from basically the end of the vamp of the reed or kind of where the window would be on your mouthpiece. And I'm doing, just letting the tool, the weight of this tool, any edge will work. Do the work. Doing about 20 degree tilt and just going back and forth, a forward or a negative right. And you can see it's finding the high spots of the reed going off the end. Make sure this end is also flat, the butt end of the reed going off and again coming up into the upper portion of the reed, just getting some blend happening here and taking any of the ridges here. You want these corners of the reed also to be flat so they touch the side rails of your mouthpiece. Okay? And this feels pretty good. I'll just do a little bit at first just to get it done. And you can actually check this flatness also by holding up. You might not be able to see this in the picture, but if you tilt it and look underneath, you could actually see if this reed is flat yet. And this is a dry reed. It still looks to me now that it's a little bit bowed. It's still a little bit high in here. You can also see it by looking down and looking at the sheen of the reed. You can see that this is more polished. But initially, I might not take it all out because I want this reed to kind of settle on its own on the mouthpiece or as it's getting soaked. Um, over here, um, I'm taking a tenor reed just to show what can be done wet. This was just put into some water. Um, by holding it up, I can actually tell this has now started to already bow here. Um, without the reed geek, um, any player would put this on and the results would be erratic or sporadic on what it's going to do because it already is warped here. Holding it again, um, initially you could hold it either way, but I like initially to hold it between my forefinger and thumb right at that window. Just running this reed geek over here and already I can feel it's just going right through those high spots and I'm going off the end of the reed. You can see the material now that's being removed. If you get closer you can actually see on the reed where it's shiny, where it's dull. So this is where it's actually finding the high spots and leveling this reed. Also at the same time it's actually pushing in, smoothing all that pulp and the fibers which is going to really enhance the response of this reed. I'm going very little bit just up here to the tip because again on a window um, on your mouthpiece the facing probably doesn't really start until up here in the reed so this area really here really does need to seal. So again I'm coming this way if you would like you could also hold it this way as it shows in the picture if you look in our diagram and come towards you. You're basically the main thing is that you want the tool to be balanced and let the tool find the high spots.